I feel sorry for your next opponent. She knows about me. Just wait till I've grown a bit. Then we'll see how well you do. Stop that. <laughs> Look at this guy. When I get that dark magic, you ain't gonna be doing that no more. I'm gonna lay you down to the ground. And that's gonna be payback for making that other kid drop his books. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? You just keep asking. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. And that's exactly what I need. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Yeah, we're gonna need Sebastian because you already know he's gonna let us know how to get that evil magic. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Let's get to it. Won't waste any time. And there he is. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Collect the flying page. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Easy work. We got to use one of our spells that we've already learned to do that. So good thing I completed both of those, right? The flying right? page must be around here somewhere. And there it is. Brilliant. I'll take that back. Easy work. Help me. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. That sounds terrible. Why would you want to play that, girl? <laughs> I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Yeah, I think they did a good job because, I mean, <laughs> I'd have done the same. Sounds as if you caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. And what is my reward? Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Yeah, so we're not going to be able to do that until we can fly on a broom. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Poor girl, she's got no friends. That's just, that's embarrassing. Get it together, <sighs> students. What is that? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, let me do this first. Right I trust here. the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. To my collection. Oh, they got different buttons this time. They don't think we know what we're doing. And I'm in. Try the Mending Charm. That's it. Very good. 
If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. So I think this looks like something we can repair. Let's try it. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> And look at that. <laughs> look at that woman. That's a meme right there. Memeing. All right, now the gobstones or whatever. It looks like it's up there. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Okay, I got one of them. I might save that for later, though. Let me see what else we got. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating Lumos. to solve the mystery. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. We're looking for a pillar and some kind of statue right here. Okay, well, we'll do that later as well. In my opinion, divination is a load of rubbish. It actually looks like it's right here. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Okay, well, is that easy work or what? Well, there goes another one of those pages. All right, so now that we're here, how do we get it back? Ha! I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. All right, another one of these pages collected. And that's easy work. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest! You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve! Especially since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place! Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer! practically competing with Imelda to see who's a more infuriating know-it-all. Exactly. Why would I tell you how I did that? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man. This is pure jokes. Oh, look at this. Okay, we'll take that little secret entrance. Hiding in plain sight. Not bad. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Oh, 
I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. I hated Of course. Accident. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Keep your friends close, your enemies closer. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. I knew he was going to teach me. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. And I'm running faster than him. Look at that. I gotta slow down. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section. And I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Okay, well, okay, let me collect all that. But you know, he just talked about the restricted zone or restricted something. Tell me about that. I need to know all about that. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. So well, I guess he doesn't have the broom either, huh? Because he's running over here. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see. Places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Another one of these. I don't know why they brought me here. So we'll pet the cat. You never know. Maybe this is maybe this means something because they keep showing the cats everywhere we go. Oh. Who knows? Mr. Moon, he's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Huh? Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is Accio. My sister Accio is lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. But we're just learning more and more about this guy every day. Into the city we go. Honestly, 
if one could bottle the magic of this place. I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. There's a lot of babes out here, but we can't talk to them yet. That's tough. They don't want us making it splash just yet, huh? So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? A potting table, it's gonna be for free. Got that, and then we also have small potion station. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Now that's a lot of coin out here. We gotta make coin as a young blood like us. It's a lot of money. But I'm probably gonna want everything they got eventually. So now we gotta figure out how to get the money in this place. Merlin's blooming beard, not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. I need the best wand you got. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, damn. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, I need the glitchiest wand you got, sir. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. 
perhaps, yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Let it fly. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. The third one's the charm? Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Black walnut, dragon heart string, brittle. You buy it. How intriguing. Warm brown. You got the classic gray. Soft spiral. Ash brown. We got the stalk version. Dark brown. Crooked indeed. spiral for dark gray. Crooked spiral. Natural gray. <laughs> we might have to go with the crooked. Oh, they have different variations too. So you can How make it brown instead of, you know, looking like that. But we've got the crooked spiral because we're letting them know that we're crooked. And we're gonna get you leaning. That's what that stands for. Unyielding, it doesn't bend, right? It will not break, you can't do anything to it. 14 and a half inches. <laughs> oh man, this is hilarious. What do you think? Uh-oh, he knows. Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Now that was very interesting. Oh, we just stole some coin from that guy. Look at that. Hey, he didn't even see it. We just stole 62 coins. We'll take it. All right, now next up. Now how are we gonna get across though? Repero! Oh, Repero. <laughs> that is funny, because they did have spells like that. They just slap a O on top of it, you know, and it does something. <laughs> Repero.